That's right. You know, tonight we've learned that 15 year old Laron Henderson died in yesterday's shooting. His family tells me that he was a gentle giant and in the wake of his death, they're looking for answers. He was a big kid, but it had a heart of gold, nice and sweet. Shania Jones is Laron Henderson's aunt. She tells us that his family found out about his death on Wednesday from other people, not from police or officials at the school. A happy, playful, gentle giant. That's who Laron is, a helpful person, a loving person, and who was loved. Laron was shot and killed in this alleyway at Liberty Heights Avenue and El Dorado Avenue, which is down the street from Forest Park High, where he was a freshman. The school never called her, Baltimore City Police Department never called her, the detectives never called her. Kids started throwing pictures up immediately. It was a shooting at the school. Um, you see people stating that they hope the child is okay. She says they did not get a call from the school system at the time. It should have been an immediate emergency message went out to all the parents. They said we did. Yeah, after seven o'clock in a statement, Baltimore City Police tell us, quote, it appears adults and teenagers took to social media with the identity of the victim. Investigators are duty bound to ensure deceased and next of kin information is accurate and that sensitivity is shown when and where that information is delivered, adding, quote, Investigators would like to speak with the individuals who knew about the identity of the victim before law enforcement. Jones thinks in the wake of this latest shooting, we need to do more to stop violence among our youth. Parents, we have to get together and save our children. We can't allow our kids to be statistics to this world. Henderson may be gone, but Jones says she won't stop fighting for him. If you commit a crime that vicious, you should do the time. So I'm looking for justice for my family member. That's it. I'm looking for justice. I want justice and I'm going to fight for justice. And Jones and others were at Forest Park High School today to speak with the Baltimore City School CEO. She went on to tell me that her family is planning a vigil in the near future. Reporting live in front of Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.